Uh, hey, what's up, my Waylands? Uh, have you ever played TF2 and wanted there to be women in it? Well, if you have, then this is the video for- No, 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 wait, 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 stop, no. Don't click out of the video. Still here? Okay, good. Well, if any of you watching share that ambition, just know that your prayers have already been answered when way back in 2009, one ASDF had that dream. You see, back then, ASDF had the idea to make a female scout mod way back when the game first came out. More details were discussed on the Face Punch forums, but unfortunately, after that site's closure, many of those were lost to time, so I couldn't find them no matter how hard I looked. There's a lot of dead links in my search. It was really bad. Thankfully, the initial submission over on Game Banana is still up. Drew Wolf, an artist who works for Valve, came up with these designs for female versions of the Mercs for some kind of planned update, I'm not really sure. But one design in general clearly stood out and was the biggest inspiration for ASDF's mod. Originally just a work in progress with a few extra submissions for face posing and a new facial model in general, in 2010, the mod was officially released to the public and what followed was a storm of content. I remember seeing Femscout and Gmod videos in SFM without even knowing that she wasn't actually real. She was just used that often. A few months after the mod went live, animator Max of S2D would take and rework the model to have better textures and more advanced posing. This new model, at the time, was not released to the public. You can find it now, but back then, it would only be spotlighted in his very own Earthbound Fortress 2 series of animations, and as a fan of both games growing up, you better believe I watched both of them. I tried getting in contact with both Max and AS, but neither of them got back to my emails or Twitter DMs. Would have been nice to learn some cool behind the scenes info on the developmental process, but I suppose that's life. While you may be more familiar with her charming voice, initially she didn't even have one and was just Scout's normal voice. It was not until 2012, two whole years later, did Sandra Espinoza, better known as Dusty Old Roses, provided her voice talents for the character. Nick Off was responsible for releasing the voice pack on Game Banana 13 years ago. And I also couldn't find any way to talk to them. Not so tough now, are ya? Are ya? Hey, a lot of good that gun did ya. I am owning you, you fat, bald, fatty, fat, fat, fat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That freaking sniper's a spy. Come on, guys, let's go. Let's waste him. While she's best known as the voice behind Femscout, Sandra also did all the voice work for Femgineer and Fem Spy. Apparently, she's also recorded dialogue for Female Medic, but never released them to the public in a mod form. While she hasn't uploaded in over two years, she would usually upload improvs between characters that she voiced, along with a few others, such as the fried chicken tramp, Scout's mom, a classic pyro named Beatrice, by the way, and more. It's very clear that she had a large passion for these characters, and it would be really great to get more professional-grade voice acting for free, but she seems busier on, like, real projects. Did you know that she actually plays several characters in Brawlhalla, uh, Brawl Stars, and various other games that, admittedly, I've never even heard before? Later on in 2017, Game Banana user Sierra Foxtrot uploaded the Femscout renovation mod that sought to bring improvements to the initial model. Better face posing, better model flexibility, more importantly, an attempt to make it more compatible with the current game. This was the model I downloaded and used for most of this footage, and usually it was pretty good. However, I did notice that it caused frequent crashes, 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 and does not look good with map Fong Zero enabled, which is how I typically run the game. Most cosmetics noticeably clip through her chest, and her model does not mesh well with more than half of the shirt cosmetics. Notably, it's her V-neck, which is always present no matter what I would put on her. And it's very clear that her ponytail is actually part of her head mesh, so if you wear any hat, it cuts off her hair and gives her a weird style. More so, she seems to have unique models for certain cosmetics, like the Buck Turner All-Stars, that give her Bit Trip Runners long socks, but she also gains red shorts for some reason? Is that part of the game? Uh, I don't know. I, I never played it. More so, the sprinting cephalopod also gives her six additional legs in the style of her skirt, which is a good attention to detail if you ask me. But not every misc or hat goes to that same length, so what's the point? For instance, the Brooklyn booties literally just give her scouts normal pants, and my go-to loadout does not work! Most others just clip or look really bad. And this is just a me thing. But because she has a skirt, I can't equip any of my normal short cosmetics because they look stupid because she isn't wearing any pants and it pisses me off. But I know, it's a minor pet peeve. Also, because of how her outfit is so different from Scout's, I almost don't want to bother putting anything on her, because she looks fine as it is, but I know if I do that to everyone else, I'll just be running around as a default scout and I'll look stupid. 
I don't know how much practice Foxtrot has working with these models, but like I said, they're most famous for their Fem Pyro renovation mods, so yeah, I don't think Fem Scout is their forte. Moving on, the sound pack worked well enough in game, but I noticed that whenever I played on an official server, uh, any Skyle server, or any MVM server, Fem Scout would either turn invisible or just look like normal Scout. Maybe I'll play around more with the original model, but as of now, this renovation is not that well made. Advanced facial flexes aren't even going to be noticed that often in regular gameplay, so maybe you should have put some of that effort in making sure it was actually compatible with the real game! Dusty Roses has recorded voice lines up to Scream Fortress 2013 and Two Cities for both Fem Scout and Fem Geneer, but it seems that Fem Spy has been left in the dust and has not received any new voice lines. Despite this, the voice pack I downloaded didn't have any voice lines for MVM whatsoever, and it crashed so much I couldn't even be bothered to test it anymore. I don't know when the last time someone uploaded a voice pack to Game Banana, but I downloaded user Jack Saint's updated 2017 voice pack that supposedly gets rid of all of Scout's normal clips and adds all the more recent Fem Scout clips. Eat my dust! But that never even happened! 9 out of 10 times, male Scout's voice would play, and I never got the updated ones to play at all! With all the love that Fem Pyro gets, why has the original Lady Killer been left to sit in the dust? Oh, and apparently in Freak Fortress lore, there's a character named Blind Fem Scout. That has nothing to do with the video, I just thought it was really funny. Uh, Freak Fortress, though, is its own thing, so maybe that'll get its own video. In the meantime, I'm gonna keep hoping that these mods and their creators will stop vanishing off the face of the Earth. Good night!